Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. In today's screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use Perfect Assistant to easily deploy your server-side Swift apps with Perfect to Amazon EC2. Perfect Assistant is a free Mac app developed by Perfectly Soft that automates common, perfect development tasks. For example, it helps you easily set up new projects based on templates, bring in various perfect dependencies into your project, try building your projects on Linux, and even deploy your projects to Amazon EC2 or Google Cloud. In this screencast, we're going to focus specifically on using Perfect Assistant to deploy your apps to Amazon EC2. You don't need to have any previous experience with Amazon EC2 to follow along. This screencast has been sponsored by Perfectly Soft, so thank you for sponsoring. Let's dive in. To deploy to EC2, you'll first need an Amazon AWS account. If you don't have one already, you can go to aws.amazon.com and sign up for an account in the free tier. Don't worry, the free tier should be more than enough for this screencast. I've already created a new AWS account for this screencast, so I'll log in as that. You'll also need to install the Amazon command line tools. To do this, just visit aws.amazon.com slash CLI and follow the instructions there. Personally, I like to install the AWS command line tools with Homebrew, which you can grab at brew.sh if you don't have it already. And then you can just run brew install AWS CLI. Now I've done this already, so it says it's already installed. Next, I need to configure the AWS command line tools to connect to my new AWS account. To do this, I'll log on to the AWS console at aws.amazon.com, and I'll open the Identity and Access Management console, IAM for short. This allows you to configure users and permissions on your EC2 account. In the navigation pane, I'll click Users, and then click Add User. I'll name this Perfect, choose Programmatic Access as the access type, and click Next for permissions. I want to create a new group for this user that gives it full access to EC2. To do this, I'll click Create Group, name the group EC2-Full-Access, select the pre-made Amazon EC2 Full Access Policy, and click Create Group. I'll then click Next and Create User. The next page is very important because it gives you the access key ID and the secret access key that you'll need to configure the Amazon command line tools and Perfect Assistant later. Copy these somewhere safe and click close when you're done. I'll do this offline. Back in terminal, I'll type AWS configure. This will ask for my access key and my secret access key. Well, again, I'll enter this offline. Let's test that this works by typing AWS EC2 describe instances. I see a test instance I made earlier, but you'll probably see an empty list if you created a fresh account. When you create a new instance using Amazon EC2, Amazon asks you to provide a public and private key pair. This is so that when you configure your new instance with this key pair, you can log in via SSL. Let's create a key pair to use. I'll use SSH keygen to create an RSA key named Perfect Key and save it off to my SSH directory with no password. I'll then use the Amazon command line tools to import the key pair, giving it a name perfect key, and setting the material of the key to the file I just created the private key in. Oops, um, I have a typo here, let me fix that. Another thing you need when you create an instance is a security group. In general, it's best to configure your security group to only allow access to the ports that your web app needs. To do this, I'll log on to Amazon EC2 and click security groups and create security group. For security group name, I'll enter hello perfect and give a description. I'll add an inbound rule with protocol TCP, port range 8080, because that's the, where the web app will be deploying, is configured to listen to, and the source to anywhere. I'll also allow connections on port 22 for SSH, and then I'll click create. Now let's configure Perfect Assistant to use these credentials. In the welcome pane, I'll click configure EC2 credentials, click create, enter perfect for the credentials name, and enter my access key ID and secret key. Again, I'll do this offline. Next, we need a project we want to deploy. I happen to have a simple perfect app on my hard drive that I built in a previous screencast. So in Perfect Assistant, I'll click Import Project, navigate to that directory, and click Save. Then I'll test that it works by clicking Run Local EXE and navigating to localhost 8080. I see Hello Perfect, which shows that it's working. Now let's deploy this. I click Build Deploy and Create New. I'll choose Amazon Web Services and Next. I'll enter perfect for the configuration name, select my perfect EC2 credentials, and browse to the SSH private key that I created earlier. I'll then click add, click my hello perfect security group, and make sure that we're using a micro instance, because that is what is free tier eligible. The perfect key pair, the availability zone we want, and click launch. After a while, I'll see success in the console. 
If I reload a few times, I'll eventually see my new instance appear. I can also see this in the AWS dashboard. Now I'll just click the box for this instance in Perfect and click Save. Then I'll click Deploy and make sure the deployment configuration I created is selected and click Deploy again. Perfect Assistant will then use an Ubuntu Linux Docker image to build my project and it will upload the binaries to the AWS instance and start them up as a service. It looks like it finished, so let's try this out. I'll copy the public DNS address from the AWS console and navigate to that at port 8080 in my browser. I see Hello Perfect. I can also try out my beer slash 99 route and that works as well. Sometimes you might need to log on to your EC2 instance to diagnose problems and so on. If you ever need to do that, you can log in via SSH like you see here. And you can see that the binaries that you built are in perfect-deployed. Now that I've verified that this is working, I don't need this instance anymore, so I'll terminate my EC2 instance to avoid any potential charges. All right, that's everything I'd like to cover in this screencast. At this point, you should understand how to use Perfect Assistant to easily deploy your perfect apps to Amazon EC2. Note that this is one of many ways to deploy your perfect apps. You can also deploy your perfect apps yourselves using Docker, or you can use Perfect Assistant to deploy to Google Cloud, or you could even deploy to Heroku. But since this ability to deploy to EC2 is built right into Perfect Assistant, it's a nice easy way to get started. Did you know that Amazon got a lot of kudos for making their first web service, Amazon S3, so easy to learn? That's why they wanted to make their next web service easy too. All right, that's it, I'm out.